Okay, the discussion boards. Uh, these are going to be a big part of the course, as I mentioned in the first video. Um, because it's an online course and we get very limited opportunities to actually interact, um, we're going to make up for that with the discussion boards. So most of the modules are going to have a discussion board component which means um, that at the end of each module there will be um, a link or an opportunity for you to um, contribute to the discussion. I have for each discussion uh, sort of set up a prompt um, where I've written something that I'd like you to talk about. I've made that prompt purposely vague so that it gives you uh, the opportunity to go in a lot of different directions with it. That's on purpose. Um, and then what you're going to need to do for each discussion module is make a total of three postings. Um, one of the postings should be an original post, one of the postings should be a response to somebody else's post, and the third posting can be either. Uh, so you're going to, as I said, need to make three postings for, for each module. Now, what I'm looking for in these, uh, in grading these discussion board posts, um, first of all, there is a rubric that is posted under course information um, that I would uh, have you take a look at because that's the rubric that I'm going to be using to grade the, um, your discussion posts. But what I'm looking for is for you to do substantive, thoughtful posts. So, in other words, you should demonstrate what you've learned from reading the book chapter, from looking at the um, presentations, from watching the videos, from thinking about um, the things that we have talked about in that module. So, ideally, the uh, posts that you make, the posts that you make in the discussion board, should be posts that you really weren't able to make a week ago because they are going to demonstrate things that you have learned um, from these modules. So that's the kind of thing I'm going to be looking for. I'm going to be looking for, you know, actual substantive um, commenting and contribution um, to the discussion board. Now, I'm not looking for length necessarily. I'm not looking for you to go on and on and on um, with your postings, but I am looking um, to see that you, you know, have substance, that you've read the book, that you make connections, that you're showing critical thinking, and those sort of things. Um, now also feel free to go beyond three postings if you want to. Um, you don't have to, but you can if you want. Um, and the other thing, just to be clear, is each week we're going to have multiple modules, which means you're going to need to make multiple postings. So for example, if we have three modules in a given week, and each of those has a discussion board, you would be expected to make nine uh, contributions to the discussion board. So that's how the discussion boards work. Uh, also I'll point out that generally when I've taught this course I've more or less kept a hands-off approach where I don't really get in there and comment um, very much or at all. Um, I'm thinking about maybe playing with that this semester and maybe I will jump in and make a contribution or two. Um, but we'll see. The reason I don't do that is I did, when I first taught the class, I did do it, and I would find that when I would post something, people would, you know, kind of think, oh, well, that's the last word on the topic. There's no point in me posting about that anymore. And that certainly wasn't my intention, and it won't be my intention if I do post. So that's how the discussion boards will work.